Welcome back to the Pacific Crest Trail. If you're new here, my name is Suzanne and I'm the writer and photographer for the blog Barking and Barkers and we are documenting our pet friendly journey north along the PCT. Here's Chloe Rue and here is a view of what we just came from. This is kind of surreal because way, way over there you can see it lined up with the tree at 12 o'clock. That is Mount Adams. I feel like we were there like yesterday. <laughs> you can see the goat rocks. You can see this beautiful lake we were just uh, collected water from. It is crazy and we just hiked up this huge hill um, and we're kind of saying goodbye to Mount Rainier National Park because we just left it and hello to whatever lays ahead. That's kind of the magic of the PCT. It's like we know the names of the mountains, but every mountain is its own adventure. Um, we are headed downhill now, and uh, it's been a really good day. Um, we started kind of by a lake, and um, I'm going to let Seth, can you hold this? I'm fixing the tent as we speak. Yeah, so we started by a lake. It was pretty awesome. Uh, we were like up above it a little bit, so uh, we had mosquitoes and that's where I did the recording last night, but we collected water right by the lake today, so that was good. And it was so blue, dewy lake. And then we have what uh, through hikers like to call Muggle Pass. <laughs> so um, muggles are non-wizards. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> They're uh, non through hikers in this world that we're living in right now. Um, which I, I think it's really funny that people who aren't through hikers are colloquially called muggles. <laughs> um, but uh, it was very busy and everybody was like, oh my god, you're doing this with your dogs. And just so many people coming up the trail um, who were curious about our through hike adventures. So it was good, but it was a little bit slow going. And then we ran into a parking lot where there was trail magic. And that was our first trail magic experience, other than people being awesome and just like, I have this in my car. I have this, you know, peanuts in my pocket. Do you want some extra peanuts? <laughs> like things like that. So this was organized. He had his vehicle there full of coolers, full of food, and a four course meal with fruit, vegetables. Um, oh, what else did he have? Drinks. And he had like alcoholic beverages and non-alcoholic beverages. And, uh, Hmm, we did have four courses. It was a salad, a potato salad, scramble, oh, and like a pudding. He had a pudding for everyone. So that was pretty cool. No cheating, Chloe. So um, his name was, I don't know if I'm supposed to say people's names on this or not, but um, Mr. Oh, shoot. I forgot it right now. I think it was Mr. Dan. Hmm. Well, anyway, he was really cool and he had so many stories and he hiked back in uh, a couple years ago and one of his hiking buddies is out here again and was like, hey, we're going to be at this pass uh, this morning. Can you uh, do trail magic today? He's like, yeah. So he... Uh, rushed up here and got everything set up and just totally catered to us which that was just such a cool thing it's such a good feeling just being supported by people who just love this adventure and who are just like you're hiking across the country and let's support you by feeding you so it was so awesome um he had not encountered dogs before, so he didn't really have much for the girls, but they were happy. We gave them extra peanut butter 
for lunch um, in addition to their normal lunchtime meal and uh, yeah it was wonderful however the downside is we got there around 11 and we were like done eating and stuff by noon but we're like um we uh, don't really want to hike at the heat of the day because it's sandy and exposed it's been like this we've had a little bit of tree coverage but not very much so uh yeah we uh left there at 2 30 and it was yeah, such a cool experience so my first real magic experience it was awesome girls are doing fantastic um we're doing 17 miles a day uh recently so that we can get to snow quality in time and they like that mileage number it gets them tired but not overly tired um and as for things i've learned people are awesome people are just going to support through hikers because they're really cool um and i really like that so that's all i got for you guys today nice and short and sweet i hope you enjoy the view um and uh embrace uh, trail magic when you can get it happy trails happy tales